This is the sinking fund depreciation method calculator for masscelebrity.com. To get there, you just type sinking fund depreciation method. And the calculator has six entry points. And the best way to work this is you leave blank for what you want to solve for. But you're going to need a certain amount of input to get there. So we're going to solve for depreciation on this calculation here. So we're going to start with these values. Asset value 10,000, salvage 1,000, uh, asset life 5, sinking fund rate 5, that's percent, time 2. So when you're ready, press calculate. And so we sum up your problem here. First thing we do is calculate depreciation. So the, the, the entire formula, depreciation at any time t is this. Where asset, salvage, j, the sinking fund rate, and, and the time. So first we're going to calculate asset minus salvage. That's pretty easy. That's just 9,000 in this case. Next we're going to calculate the 1 plus j to the t minus 1 piece, which is here. So we're going to plug in our numbers, simplify, evaluate, and we get this. Next, we're going to calculate this piece. And for those of you that haven't taken annuities in finance class, this is notation for the accumulated value of a level annuity paid every period for n periods at a j percent interest rate. So the formula is just 1 plus j raised to the n minus 1 divided by j. So with n equal to 5 and j equal to 5 percent, or 0.05, we plug in our numbers simplify, evaluate, and this is our accumulated value piece. So the good news is we have all three pieces now for depreciation at, at time two in this case. So we're going to plug in, that was our 9,000 from piece one, 1 1.05 from piece two, and then our accumulated value piece, which is this. So we go ahead and simplify, evaluate, and we get our depreciation at time two is 17, 10, 21. Now as another piece, we're always going to calculate book value for you. So book value formula time t is just a minus r. Well, a is our asset value, and r is this piece here. So again, we're going to go ahead and calculate. We have our Sn of j that we calculated above. Now we need our st of j. So again, accumulated value, but this time we're going to time 2, which in this case is 2. Even though the asset life is 5 of n, we're going to stop at time 2. So we plug in our numbers, simplify, evaluate, keep going. And we get this. So book value time 2 is just asset value minus that R piece. And this is it. So a, a few lines of math to go through, but pretty straightforward to follow. Now let's change a few numbers around, and we'll do one more count. So let's do 2,000 salvage value. Let's make N7. Sinking fund rate 6%. And we'll go at time 3. So we'll press calculate. So now we do our new A minus S, plug in our new sinking fund rate, J is 6%, stop time is 3, and then we calculate our, our respective pieces, simplify, evaluate, we got our depreciation charge at time 3, and that new scenario we just did is this. So now we have our book value calc. So again, same formula, and we're going to do our S of J piece cumulative value. Now we got that here. So now we'll just plug and chug all the numbers we've calculated along the road and we get this. So now A minus R. So our book value at time three is this under that scenario. So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.